Hello, and uh, welcome to another episode of me, Bob McIver, playing Farm Fantasy 7. Uh, yeah, so, um, a short stream this session, two hours long, from 6pm to 8pm. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so where we left off last session, um, I, yeah, uh, we did um, Cosmo Canyon uh, with Red 13 and Cloud and the crew. Red 13 got to hear more about his backstory. Um, Red 13's uh, dad, Sito, uh, was actually defending uh, Cosmic Canyon and uh, died in the process ages ago. And uh, Red 13 only just now found out about that. Um, when he always thought he was a coward, he was actually found out his dad protected the the the, the, the village. Um, we left there and then uh, went to Nibelheim. Uh, after first time going back there after five years and uh, the place is uh yeah not burnt down as cloud was saying but as everything's uh way it uh, looks looks normal um you go around speak around people and people don't remember the incident that happened five years ago and you find out they're all paid actors by shinra um and they're basically covering up the whole uh shinra the nibelheim incident so we finished that off uh did a bit of a side mission where we got codes and um uh for a safe and in the safe we uh yeah got a key to unlock basically uh Vincent Valentine which I haven't actually used yet as a character. So we got him on the go. Um and that's it, now we're moving on. Um yeah we we we're going through Nibelheim Mountain at the moment currently and check just checking out all the ins and outs of that. Uh, also what happened, I died twice last session, which is really annoying. Uh, first time just caught off guard in a fight uh, outside of uh, Cosmic Canyon. And then, uh, yeah, just some monsters on the beach used Petrify and killed me before I had a chance to do anything about it. Uh, petrified all three of us. And the second time was the boss in uh, the, the mansion. I think a boss you meant to come back a bit later to kill, but like I managed to kill it, but like it was just super powerful and just like one shot at me near the end. Uh so yeah, so that's that's a quick uh catch up. Um also uh thank you uh to Andro Jelly uh Jerry, sorry. Uh you added me last session. Uh you followed me and I didn't realise. Um I uh, still have a problem with um again notifications of uh, getting new followers uh, so I still have to figure that out anyway I've been talking too long let's uh, get into it oh yeah, got my tea also uh, after yeah um, yeah, after last session, I basically uploaded all the rest of the footage from Final Fantasy VII, so you can go to my YouTube and uh, basically uh, watch all the other episodes if you if you want or not. It's up to you. All right, just starting up the game now. Um, alright, there's something else I forgot, so I'm basically just going to go to maintenance screen, uh, and I'll be back on like five, well, probably about a minute or two, uh, so yeah, so just give me one minute, I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. Let's get this game on the wall. On the go. Ah, oh, you should receive any second. There you go. Cool. 
Cool. So last time uh, we just completed a boss around here, uh, and there's dragons where you stole gold amulets from, which are amazing. Um, yeah, the dragon here I thought was going to die on. I meant being super hard, and he was a bit tricky, but I think because I like overly prepared before going on that, um, I was uh, overly cautious, and uh, I think that's why I only survive. Ooh, this guy again. Um, We don't really need to manipulate him. We stole the gold ammo off him. Right, he's skilled at Twine. Metro is 8, Twine's 20. Yeah. Eliza fine. So yeah, two E skills, both are fine. Basically just knocking them out. So I think I tried the far left. Um, the tunnels up here have got five options. I think I tried the far left, number five, and I think I tried four last time. But four might have been actually uh, five, I uh, not realize. Uh, let's try one. Nothing. Duh. Duh, duh, duh. I suppose I could just look at the tiles and see. But I'm gonna try more anyway, so no point trying to figure out. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's still active. <laughs> Alright. Never do uh, magic on cloud or attacks on cloud. If you want to learn something, you just can't counter. Do it Ares first. Ooh, Aoife, need lots of those. So we tried 5, 4 and 1, now we need to try 2. Cool. Got an item, I don't know what this is. Power Soul. Um, that sounds like a weapon for Tiffa. Yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, powers up near death, never seen that before. Um, so the power is lower. Um, Yeah, the slots are not linked, and I got. I'm, I'm making use of the slots. Um. So yeah, I probably won't change out. 
Yeah, it's not worth it. These guys, were they tough? So I've done one, two, four, five, and I've got three left to go. I must have like when I tried going in four before I actually went in five again. So I have to try four and five properly. Oof. Is he dead? Wants to steal this one. Yeah, now I've got him. Uh, oh, I need to get on this. Genk out just a normal attack. Save his magic. So yes. Cool, you get to see all the attacks. Yeah, let's go. Ah, got a new one. Meteor Drive. Let's see what that does. That's the last of her level 2's. Attack. Yeah, they, yeah, they all do single attacks. Uh, let's check Aries. She's got 1. And he's got 2. So I think it's the amount of kills you get per with the actual sum, uh, limits. I don't remember. Uh, 4. Let's try and get to 4. There you go. Three. Receive all material. Cool. It's always good to have more. Um, I think that's all. I think we're done. Right. Run tent up. And save. Uh, did I um, forget an area around here? I'm 
I'm just going back on myself to see if there's any areas I've forgot. Quite windy. Oh, cool. Of course, she has that ability. Was that an item I got earlier? I think it might have been. Causal elements. Don't really need it, but need to use the mop as many times as you can. Yeah, I think I've discovered everything. Uh, this was not the way I came in. I jumped down, didn't I? Right. Have to go all the way around it. Yeah, let's just get through this. Uh, I don't remember. Oh yeah. Well, it's doing a thing again when it kicks me out. Oh, the game is still going. Ah, 
Alright. I think we've done that before. Uh, I think we've done both of these. Uh... Ether. Cool. It's good to stop on the ethers. Kind of need them. Uh, which way? Oh man, it's so fucking long winded. Actually, you know what? I'm just summoning. Bladed sword. That's one instant kill. Levels getting pretty high. I think I kind of accidentally farmed a lot in this area. Oh, so long. Can I go around the right side? Oh, yeah. a little bit more comfortable. Is it gonna be the dragon again? How many more copies of the gold amulet? We could probably sell them for a bit, so uh Played him. Okay, then I rest a bit whilst he's been played. Top up their life to be on the safe side. That dragon punches, uh, bites, packs a punch. Is the word. Good. Uh, right, I just want to go back down. 
Uh, yeah, no, I'm fine. I was going to use another 10 bar, leave it. Cool, let's get out of it. We're done. I'll have a uh, cloud saver's magic. Yeah, that's powerful magic. Cool. Well, onto the world map. And now we're at the back of Nibelheim. Got no buggy with us. Uh, buggy's on the other side there. I want to check out what interesting bad guys are here. Find a beach, find a forest, find on the land. See if there's anything for one I can actually get some new skills off. Oh, that's annoying, I can't turn the camera the other end. Oh, yeah, these guys. These guys that ruin my life. Um, Which have to die fast. Don't want to have a game over. Oh, fucking try and kill them? These guys are like the hardest guys in the game. Interesting set of bangers. Just do anything. Cool, got that guy. Ah! A lunch you not. That'd be good for breeding trouble boys. Poison blow. Let's try that. Uh, on areas. Did uh, I learn it? No. Nothing to steal. Claw. I imagine that's not going do anything. Try it anyway. Remedy. Cool. Yeah. So nothing from those guys. Oh, 
that same guys again. Kill two. Fine. Five two. Nice. Alright, just gonna save here quickly. What's that? It's uh, rusted, that's what it is. I don't think the green should be on that. A rusted old rocket. Wonder why they made something so huge. You think Cloud would know about this? Like, since he worked in Soldier. There's tons of what it looks like antique guns. I bet the owner of this store is a real gun fanatic. Those are AKs, aren't they? <laughs> we just entered Texas now, have we? But da 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 who would have thought? Alright, uh, check on for uh, what's his face, Vincent. Gold amulets, which I've already got um, free. Is that like six in total that I have? Like free owned and free, like free equipped and free reserved. Power wrist, oof, that's nice. Protect wrist, vitality, that'll be good as well. Magic plus then that's good. Spirit. Um, Alright, I'm gonna. Check to see if there's any materials, any other shops first, uh, and then come back here. We've got an in, that'll be good. <coughs> oh. No, no, no. What? Give me a sec. Just put a stool beside me, the cat wants to wait. That's it. Do you want to do it? Should. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, just saying hi to Cersei first quickly. Yep. Yeah. Alright, go on, go on the little chair. Hmm, is it real, real or fake? Is that Van Gogh or something? No, uh, Mona Lisa, it looks like. Alright, cool. Uh, ooh, we've got a bar. The Shan Jai Tai? Would you like something to drink? Let's hear your story. Did you meet the captain already? He's uh, really the town's representative, uh, so you should really talk with him. Uh, I'm not going to sell me a drink then. Uh, better ask the captain about this town. He's the one in charge of it. Captain? Who's the captain? The captain was a pilot when Shinra was still interested in the space program. He was going to be the world's first astronaut. But there was an accident. Ever since then he was racing his life away here dreaming about going into outer space. Did you see a man in the black cape? A man in the black cape? Nope. Never seen him. Uh, not interested. That's too bad, please come again. Duh. Oh, someone's in the toilet. Yeah, I'm in there. Alright, let's check uh, let's check out this room first. This song reminds me of um this song has lyrics, I think. In the uh, remake, they uh, remade this song, and I think they had lyrics to it. I 
I didn't sleep yet, did I? No. Welcome to Shanghai Inn. Uh, 100 for a night. Alright, what are you about? That rusted old rocket. That rusted out rocket is all that remains of the Shimmer space program. That's uh, kicking me out again. This used to be Shimmer space when they launched rockets. Uh, you saw the Lenin rocket, right? That's Shimmer number 26. It never got off the ground though. Alright, this is more rooms. Welcome, this is an item shop. Uh, how much? Phoenix, we're doing alright. Ooh! Barrier, exit, time. Uh, we've got one of those. We need one barrier, one exit. Uh, we need some times. Uh, attempt, sorry. <laughs> one little money again. <laughs> nice little room, this. Is that Kim Jong un? <laughs> A picture there. Right, what's going on? All Gramps does is gaze at the rocket all day long. I don't remember there being anything in this place. Uh, everyone in town was a, a mechanic back when they were planning to launch the rocket. What's this house? Alright, you're right there. Hmm, I'm so bored. Isn't there anything that can excite me? Jeez, it's boring. Isn't there anything exciting going to happen around here? Yeah, absolutely nothing's going to happen that I come into this town. Which house do I not want to go into? I've got more material, I'll go buy the, the, the equipment now. Um, can I see my gold amulets? Yeah, I only have three, yeah. Uh, a thousand. A thousand for one. That's cool. Not worth throwing there. Right, get one of those. Don't really have much money for anything else. Right, uh, Aries. Aries Total Magic is 3, 4, 7. If I equip this. Oh, protects against Paralyze. That's really good, actually. Um, so, Magic plus 10. Uh, so is that magic attack? No. Um, it does something with magic. Um, I'll give Cloud, he had protection and sleep. Gem ring is now his. Tifa has the power list. Yep. Cool. Good, good, good. Optimize. Optimize crew. Let's just see if there's any other one need to remember to save up for. Uh, now we got one of everything. Do one more Paris. 
power wrist. Uh, yeah, a few battles there. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, save. Then come back in. Alright, let's do this place first. Alright, cool. This, uh, it's my job to make people laugh all over the world. Ooh, I see power source. Alright. Um, let's go to the rocket. Oh no, 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 you don't want it. Let's go to heaven. I'm basically just trying to avoid main story. Yeah, I think this is the main story. Draw on. Uh, Davy Barretts. Oh, cool vehicle. Lots of AK 47s as well. And models of ships. Too bad you can't drive that thing around. Cloud. There's a Shimmer logo on it. The tiny Bongo. This is cool. Let's take it. Okay, Cloud. Um, may, may I help you? No, we're just looking at it. If you would like to use it, please ask the captain. The captain should be in the rocket. I'm Shira. And what are your names? I'm Cloud. I'm Aries. Tiffa, nice to meet you. Hmm. So you're not with Shimmer? I thought you were bringing approval for the space program. What? President Rufus is scheduled to come here. The captain's been so restless all morning. Rufus? Where did she go? Just I left the house. Yeah, all right, cool, we move on. Go on. Shinra. What are you guys doing here? Cloud, we heard the captain was here. Yeah. Captain Tune. I am the captain. Sid. Cool. They still have a city. He still has a cigarette in his mouth. They didn't erase that. There's some bent cigarette as well. Guy needs to learn how to roll properly. Uh, the name's Sid. Everyone calls me captain though. Uh, what do you want? Tell me about the rocket, yeah? Wow, not bad for a kid. Alright then, I'll explain it to you. You know Shimmer developed a lot of technological, technological gadgets during the Minimus War, right? Now it's a Mako company, but in the old days it was a weapons manufacturer. Well, they came up with a rocket engine. There was so much excitement about uh, the thought of going into our space. Our dreams got bigger and bigger. They put a major budget into it and made prototype after prototype. Finally, they completed Shinra number 26. They chose the best pilot in Shinra. No, in the world. Me. I mean, come on. 
And finally, we get to the day of the launch. Everything is going well. But because of that dumbass Shira, the launch got messed up, and that's why they became so anal. <laughs> I don't know that that one. And so Shimmer nicks the outer space exploration plan. After they told me how the future of space exploration and got my dreams up, my damn dreams hopes up, damn them. Then it was all over once they found out Muffle Energy was profitable. They don't even so much as look at space exploration. Money, moolah, De Niro, my dream was just a financial number for them. Look at this rusted rocket. I was supposed to be the first man in space with us. Every day it tilts a little more. At this way, I don't know which will be first, the things falling over or me getting out of it. My last hope is to talk to the present. My last hope is to talk to the present. Ah, I'm not gonna give me the other options. I suppose it just kind of went down through the options. Cool model, I, like the, I still like the model. Well, they made an effort with the detail on the face. And they also make an effort with them blinking as well. Right back to the house. Shira, excuse me, Cloud. Did the captain say anything? Uh, nope. Oh. What oh, was that? Fuck, Shira. Where are you? Why are you blind? We got guests, get some tea. Fuck. I'm sorry. I imagine it might be the B word. I'm not saying that one or that. Really, don't mind us. Shut up, sit down on those chairs and drink a goddamn tea. Ah, damn, I'm pissed. Shiva, I'll be in the backyard tuning up the tiny Bronco. Make sure to serve them some tea, all right? Sheesh, what bad manners. Cloud, sorry, it's our fault. Shira, no, no, he's always like this. Tiffa, is that all? Is it always like this? Why is it so hard on you? Shira, no, it's because of my stupid mistake. I was the one who destroyed his dreams. What happened? Hey, get your ass in gear. You work like a snail. Even the moon's getting tired of waiting around for your ass. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He was always a dickhead then. <laughs> uh, Shira, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm sorry. He said, don't talk so much. Uh, don't take so much time checking that uh, fucking oxygen tank. Shira, being careful is good. But no matter how many times you check that oxygen tank, it won't matter. A thing wouldn't break even if hell froze over. But, no buts. You're not stupid, so be more efficient. Oh, I'm sorry. Captain, our dreams are finally coming true. We are so proud to be part of the launch of Shimmer number 26. Captain, preparations are complete. All, has, all that's left is liftoff. Yeah, leave it all to me. I'll be back in a few. All right, Captain. Fly dreams into our space. Thanks, guys. We're praying for your safety. Instrument panel all clear. Shimmer number 26 ready to launch. Engine pressure rising. Shimmer number 26. Three minutes to launch. Beginning countdown. Finally. What the? What's happening? 
We have an emergency situation. The mechanic is still in the engine section of the rocket. What? Who in the little fuck? I don't know. I'd have the intercom in the engine section. Hey, god damn it. Who the fuck's still in there? It's a uh, she rock captain. Don't mind me. Go ahead with the launch. she -Ra? What are you still doing in there? I was, still, I was still concerned. The results of the oxygen tank test weren't satisfactory. You stupid little... Pff, Jesus Christ. It's going to get so hot in there, it ain't going to be shit left when we blast off. We're going to be burnt to a Chris. You're going to die. You know that, don't you? No, I don't mind. If I can fix just this, then the launch will be a success. I'm almost done. If I just fix this. Almost done. You're gonna die. We must start the countdown. We won't make it if we don't. Start an engine. Hey, wait a minute. She was still in there. What are you gonna do, Sid? If we cancel now, it will be another six months until the next launch. God damn it, Shiva. You wanna make me a murderer? Captain, Shiva, tank number seven check is complete. Once I complete tank number eight, it's all clear. Come on, Shiva, hurry up. You're gonna die. 30 seconds until ignition. Uh, beginning countdown. Sid, forget about her. We won't make it in time. She's quite just gonna let her die. Well, well, what am I supposed to do? If you got a rocket, she still has to keep get distance away, though. Like, she can't just stand beside the rocket as it goes up. 15 seconds until ignition. Uh, internal temperature is rising. Oh man, the moon. Our space. My dreams. Ignite engine. Shit! Nope. Back down. He pushed the emergency engine shutdown switch, a bolt in the mission, to save my life. After that, the space program was cut back and the launch was cancelled. It's my fault his dream was destroyed. That's why it's alright. I don't care what the captain says. I'll live my life for him. Shiva, you still haven't served him tea? Yeah, I'm sorry. Hurry up and sit down. Wait, my hospitality good enough here. They're late. Where is Rufus? Palmer. Hey, hey, long time no see. So, Sid, how you been? Well, if it ain't the fat man, Palmer, how long were you figuring on keeping me waiting? I think you'd be want to be a bit nicer to Shinra, right? So, when's the space program going to start up again? Hey, hey, I don't know. The president's outside. So why don't you ask him? Uh, shit. Good for nothing, fat bastard. Fuck, maybe he's the first word. Don't say fat. Hey, hey, tea. Can some too, with lots of sugar and honey and, oh yeah, don't forget the lord. Just, like, completely unaware that, like, we're right beside him. Uh, he knows who we are, right? Um, is President Rufus here to announce that he's going to restart the space program? Hey, hey, have we met before? Hey, hey, is the tea ready yet? Plenty of sugar and honey, oh yeah, and don't forget the lard. So yeah, he's, he doesn't care to remember us. He cares more about tea. Which, uh, yeah, I can't really fault him for that. <laughs> don't about the lard, though. Um, Sid, what the... You got my you got me all excited for nothing. Then what'd you come here for? I want to borrow the tiny bronco. Rufus, we're going off a Sephiroth, but seems like we've been going in the wrong direction. 
and now we think we know where he's headed. But we have to cross the ocean, and that's why we want your plane. Fuck. First the airship, then the rocket, and now the tiny Bronco? Shimmer took out a space away from me, and now you want to take the sky away from me too? Oh my. <laughs> Sorry, that was a really British accent there. You seem to forget it was because of Shinra and Corporate that you were able to fly in the first place. What? Oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, this way. Shiva, you want to use a tiny Bronco, right? I believe Palmer's gonna take it. Why don't you go talk to him? Yeah, let's fuck his day up. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Palmer. Hmm, why do I have to do this? The head of the space. I'm the head of the space program. Cloud, we'll be taking the tiny Bronco. I've seen you somewhere before. I oh, know, the Shimmer Building. When the president was killed. Yep. So it's so a secure day. I just go straight into a fucking fight. Don't even wait for security. Uh, I remember this being quite easy. Um, let's still. Uh, let's get big guard up. Nothing is still. Uh, do you have anything? Sleep. Fuck it. Boss music time. Trine, let's see how Trine looks. Uh. Oh, it's Lightning, that's what Trine does. Alright, cool. Yes! Oh, yes! Got it. Let's see how it plays out. One, two, three. Oh, a Metro Dive! Hee hee hee, hick. I was over already. I'm just getting started. Blech. Ah! Time level up. Ending coach. I got some new material as well. I need to start. Uh, I need to equip those. <sighs> and I guess the the fight music still continues. I can't stop it. Forget it. Get in. Da -da 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 -da. Fuck! The tail's been hit. Emergency landing. There's gonna be a big splash. Hold on to your drawers and don't piss me. Yeah, not the best uh, port. Music cut a little early. Sid, she won't fly anymore. Can't we use it as a boat? Fuck. Do whatever you want. Sid, uh, 
I can't fit past that. Uh, what are we going to do now? I think he said. I don't know. I'm history of the Shimmer, and I've given up on that town. How about your wife, Shiva? Wife? Don't make me laugh. Just think about marrying her gives me the chills. Uh, what are you guys going to do? We're going after a man named Sephiroth. Uh, we have to get Rufus of the Shimmer someday too. I don't know about any of that, but... What the hell? Sign me up. How about it, everyone? Of course, no problem. Glad to be aboard, numbskulls. Numbskulls? Yeah, anyone stupid enough to go up against Shuma nowadays has got to be a numbskull. I like it. So where, where we're we heading? Uh, Rufus was going after Sephiroth to the Temple of the Ancients. Really? Where is that? The Temple of the Ancients. Don't know, that numbskull kid was telling me he was heading the wrong direction. So maybe it's off this way. Let's just head for land and get some information. Temple, uh, Temple of the Ancients. That name bothers me. How to fight Tommy Bunko. Could get in and out on the beach, on a beach. Yeah. Remember Tommy Bunko had been a little bit more red? Alright, where am I? Oh, I'm not going to have so much to do. I realise I could go um, a lot of places <laughs> without spoiling it. Um, Nibelheim, did I buy everything I needed from Nibelheim? Cosmic Canyon. Uh, no, Rocket Town. Hopefully, I could go back in Rocket Town and buy some stuff. Where, where's Rocket Town? There it is. It's quite convenient. Uh, right, I think it's time to move, switch up party. Um, Alright, I say we have Vincent and, and uh, Sid, because we haven't used either of them yet. Uh, cool. Alright, I said equipped him, let's see what he has. Just a spear at the moment. Oh, you almost lost off the gold amulet, that's cool. Um, Silver Amulet's alright. Oh! Eddie Coat. That's, um... That's a Nick, uh... Armour. Um... Right, let's figure out what to put on. We'll just put that on for now. Uh, Quicksilver, we've got three. We can choose one. So this one currently is, uh, growth is normal. This one, the attack percentage higher, the Peacemaker. Uh, it goes up double growth. Ooh, that's good. Sniper CR. Uh, long range weapon. And shotgun. Pfft. So the attack's slightly lower, but the attack percentage goes up to 255, which is, I think, the highest it goes. Uh, Alright, cool. Uh, gold Amulet. What's the Eden coat? Lost lots. Defense percentage goes down, but does he? No, he doesn't have um, any link material, so I'll just put on. I need more slots. All right, let's just swap around these characters.
We should give him an upgrade to someone else. There you go. Uh, we've got some new material as well, so. Ah, uh, you can't use this anymore. Ice on all. Doesn't matter too much. Do you have any doubles left? Yeah. Uh, now what? There, there's, there's more material to pawn. We could do it slow now, which is cool. Uh, yeah, I suppose you can just swap that out. Uh, able to escape a battle, level up, and uh, you'll be able to remove them from battle. Uh, barrier is important, though. Sending barrier. But I kind of got the east skill for barrier anyway. So, but anyway, it's good to have them anyway. Because yeah, it has reflect. So yeah, cool. Right, we'll start leveling up. Everything on the top row uh, levels up twice as fast. So I'm going to put party level ups up here. Yeah, put HP plus up here. And MP plus. Cool. Alright. Well, team. Let's buy other items. I don't think there's anything else, was there? Yeah. I'll leave any, any more of those. Where's the other shop there? No, not here. Yep, no, that's all fine. Uh, I'm going to get a couple more of these. Cool. Right, I'm done for the towns. Um, Alright. Um, where are we going first? Let's keep that map up. Um, there's a town I want to go to. We can stop off here. This is like a side quest thing. Um, and uh, I'll probably will do that as soon as I begin the next session. As soon as I land there, I think it starts. Uh, I think. Maybe it's around there. Yeah, anyway, I'll leave that for now. Um, I'll come back to that later. Ooh. Cosmic Canyon, I could go Cosmic Canyon again. Um, 
Yeah, I don't have much money. I was going to buy an MP plus again. HP plus. Alright. We'll go this way. Nope, can't go up there. I think everyone here would be a lot easier now. Whoa, we're moving. This is bad. Oh boy, there's no way we can walk past that now. Alright. I have to leave that. Yeah, this place. I'm gonna check this place out. Hey, got some. Huh? Another customer? You sure pick uh, an out and way place, but. But if the keystone you're looking for, you're too late. Don't have it. Keystone? What? You didn't come here for that? The keystone is the key that unlocks the gate to a veil temple somewhere. Uh, you're not going to believe your ears, but I heard it was the Temple of the Ancients. The Temple of the Ancients? Ha ha ha. Don't take it seriously, it's just a legend. Huh? Where's the key sign? I sold it already. Yeah, well, to tell the truth, I don't really want to sell it, but the guy had a way about him that made you feel like it may not be a good idea not to sell it to him. Who did he sell it to? The manager of the Golden Saucer. I think his name was Dio. He said he was going to put it in a museum, then he took off out of it. Where is the temple? Come on, it's only a legend. But if it was true, that sure would be something, huh? Now that you mention it, I heard of something called Ultimate Destructive Magic. It's supposed to be hidden somewhere in the Temple of the Ancients. Ultimate Destructive Magic. Weapons of Mass Destruction. Is that where the Bush administration got that? Got the idea for the term? WMDs, we've got to hunt down some WMDs. WMDs. Uh, come on, I said don't take it seriously. Alright, what's in there? Uh, let's change the subject. All the weapons you see here I made myself, but lately I haven't been able to get materials. Hey, just don't come barging in here. Let's change the subject. Uh, did I do that one already? I did, yeah. All the weapons here made myself. Yep. Right. There was uh, no more, right? Uh, oh, cool. Free rest. Hey, Poison. How you doing? Uh, how's the weather there in America? So in this game so far, we uh, today's session we uh, went to we finished off the rest of Nibelheim Mountain, Mount Nebel, and then we went to uh, Rocket Town, and we did all of Rocket Town, and now we've got a tiny Bronco, and uh, basically I'm just searching for items, um, going to hidden places and stuff like that. Oh, it's a nice day, yeah. Uh, cool, cool. Like uh, in England, most of the time it's miserable. Most time it's cloudy, and we're meant to be having summer. Um, but yeah, we've got a good day of it today, so nice. It's a perfect level, it's not too hot. Um, I can't handle the heat too much, but uh, yeah, it's good, it's good. One of the few good days. So, alright, let me go. Alright, I think he doesn't allow me to open this. Hey, don't just come and barge in there. Was there like a tenny to it as soon as he opens that? No. I think I need to bring an item to him. So this this character here is part of a side quest that gives you 
Whereas the main quest but it's also like a side quest where you get an ultimate weapon for Ares. Uh, there's some um, f- a couple of things you meant to do first uh, in a particular order. Um, I think I'm in the sum of it, but um, I don't think you could do it just yet. Anyway, I have to come out there later. Yeah, you say it's actually nice here. That makes me assume that you're uh, kind of North America somewhere, uh, maybe like Massachusetts or something. That's my guess, Massachusetts, or maybe northeast, uh, northwest, maybe not as high up as Alaska. Uh, I can't seem to go any more further around. I'm going to get around and fire, see if there's anything of interest. Maybe face. Um, Tombry. Maybe there's Tombry this week. Uh, are these guys hard? No. Easy. Grand Punch. Do I learn that? Still. Um. Yeah, this will be good. Here. You live in Idaho. It's uh bipolar here. It's hot one day and cold the next. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know anyone from Ohio. Yeah, you kind of like want the weather to be a little bit more predictable. Like you don't want to plan to go out like in the summer and then then out of the blue it just gets cold all of a sudden. Gonkaga. Can I go on, sir? Yep. Oh, I found it. That's uh, the Temple of the Ancients. I don't think I'll do anything here yet. So I'll come back there later. Where is it on the map? Yeah. Uh, where's this place? I don't recognize this part. Four Condor? Yeah, Union. Right, I might as well go off the thing then, uh, what's in there. Uh, go back to um, the Migazulu and uh, get his, uh, you know, his e-school. <coughs> uh, order, he can go in the back. I think his is long range. Yeah, what about Sid? He's not long range. I don't think there's anything going on in Fort Condor at the moment. Like in uh, Rebirth, you're introduced 
very quickly to um, Sid, but uh, Sid doesn't do much. Uh, but you get a glimpse of his character, and uh, they've toned him down a lot. Um, but I think that's probably like a good thing. You don't want him to be like he's a bit too like violent, <laughs> verbally violent in this one. Uh, so I don't mind them toning down a little bit. I still want him like cussing and stuff and be basically an arsehole. But they can't get rid of the arsehole kind of nature of him. Hopefully they'll add more of that to the next part. I can't remember if he smokes as well. It'd be annoying if they actually got rid of him smoking. Mega Zealand's gonna die so easily now. This is a good place to stop all on the uh, high potions as well. Yes, yes, his quality. It's crazy how late he comes into the game. I think Sid is my favourite character, actually. If I had to pick one of the main, main costs. My least favourite, I think, was uh, Yuffie. Uh, but in uh, Rebirth, I feel like I did a really good job with her. And she's actually one of my favourites in Rebirth. But yeah, I think Sid is my favorite, yeah. And uh, Cloud will be in second. Alright, time to take on Migazulum again. Uh, I'm right here. Come get me! Stop trying to hit me and hit me! Alright, so. One of the move players. Nothing is still. Yeah, I don't know that. Kill me the play. Right. Yeah, fucked him up. That's probably half his life in one go there. Well, I normally have to wait for him to knock one of us out, but I do think we can survive this. Oh yeah. I fucking got to power up. I'm not going to bother... Come on, I'm not gonna bother doing. Oh, I'm leveling them. Yeah, I'm leaving them in the place. I'm just going straight out to kill him. I think his uh, that magic uh, beater. I think that's the final attack of this. Oh, cool. Get to see uh, his limb break. Is he swiping out? Right, that's one e school one. Killed him. Alright. So it's not a final attack. <laughs> Get nothing for it. Uh, you, your dream team is Cloud Yuffie Sid. But I would also use Cloud Vincent Sid. Ah, interesting choice. I think uh, everyone's favourite is uh, Vincent, ain't it? I think my dream team is always like Cloud, Ares, and um, Tiffa. Um, 
All Cloud Aries and uh, yeah, Sid. Right, let's try this jump. Hey, got an uh, achievement for it. Thousand. Big God. Alright, we get his life down a bit. Yeah, I also think when it comes to like the last boss in the game as well, my dream team is um, Cloud, uh, Tifa, and Barrett. It's like the original crew out there from the beginning. I feel like it's kind of like they they have to be there. Oh, uh, thing got knocked out. But the arena. That's good. Beta, finally, finally I'm getting it. And also, both these people have the E skill. Uh. Cool, done it, finally. Let's just check that. Look like only one of them are in it. Beta, fire damage. So it's kind of very similar to Trine. But one's fire damage, one's lightning damage. Cool. Yeah. That's what we need. Alright, I'm happy about that. I could put that to rest. I could put Migazulin back. It's uh, half seven now, so I'll be finishing up in half hour. And then, as usual, go to see uh, my mates on the other channel, Denby Fighting Nerds, which you're welcome to join. Yeah, uh, Tiffa's limit break is always fucking cool, right? It like, just felt epic every time. It's a nice, unique kind of design for her limit break. It feels quite different to the others. Do you remember where the worm is? The big sand worm. I think he might be in the desert, cool desert. But I don't think there's a way back there just yet. Mm. What's your favourite um, final limits? I think uh, Sid had what he calls under high wind to just basically do like napalm bombing, basically. Uh, where's my boat? Where do I pop my boat? It's a border of the water outside the place with the egg. Um, The egg, you mean the egg from uh, Fort Condor? Uh, yeah, that's where I am right now. But Fort Condor's there. Is it on the beach, right? 
Let's go to the other beach. Yeah, I must just be getting unlucky with the fights. You say uh, Cod is your favourite, so I think you meant to say Sith, right? But I thought uh, originally you were talking about Call of Duty. Reference to Sid's attack being uh, like getting, um, what do you call it? Kill streak rewards. Which is basically kind of what it is anyway. Yeah, enemies have percentage to show up. Yeah, fair enough. I'll, I'll keep at it until I find it. I remember I wasn't a big fan of um, Vincent's Limit Break. I remember one of the first times I played it, I went into his Limit Break form and uh, everyone died apart from him and I couldn't control him. And then he magically did, he did an attack that did like fire damage or something, but the enemy like recovered life. And uh, basically it just went on forever. I think it was like an endless loop or something. Um, and I was just getting more and more pissed off with uh, Vincent's limit break. The fact you can't control him, like kind of bugged me. <laughs> You've been playing too much COD? Could he be, uh, the sand one be outside Costa del Sol? Possibly, on the sand. You don't know if you, if you can run in his limit. Yeah, I don't think I ever actually tried that, actually. Like, when I first played this game, I was like really fucking sketchy. It's my, it was my first ever RPG. So I was like, I, d I don't know, like, like, uh, like, how to work with RPGs, like, I don't know what to expect from them, and how to approach them mechanically. Yeah, you thought you, you thought someone here. Yeah, I thought so too. Um, but I, I, I've gotten so many fights around here now. I could actually, like, cause I have thought of them before. I might actually just go back over my old footage and um, and uh, see where it was. Let's try this beach. Well, I think what I'll do is I'll just look back at your footage uh, and see where for, for him. And then when I begin the next session, I'll do that. Cool desert is where the internet says. Yeah, I was kind of suspecting it might be there as well. I can't get back to the cool desert just yet, can I? Um, I can't walk into the cool desert. I could go maybe via Golden Saucer, huh? but I don't think you could go back down that lift, can you? Can you even go back to Cold Desert? Oh, uh, the buggy. Oh, you can do the buggy. Oh, shit. Um, okay, well, uh, fuck it, I'll give it a shot now then. Since, uh, uh, basically, you're going to use the rest of the session to, like, um, just clean up all, all the little bits here and there. Um, like, check out all the little side missions and stuff. Um,
This is getting quite annoying the fact I can't I don't have um L1 activate to rotate camera. Oh fuck I might actually just Must do that because um, I don't have the button to rotate the camera. Oh, chocolate form. Okay, I can go back around here. Uh, is there anything I want to do around here? Go back at where we began. The other side of Union. Ooh, we go here. All right, let's check. Let's go here since we're here. One of the fights is going to be a bit scary here. Oh god, this brings out memories. This is one of my first experiences of the game. Um, I won't go into detail just yet, but like uh, I'll mention it next session. But th th this area kind of brings me the most kind of nostalgia to the game. Uh, welcome to Bone Village, a town for nature lovers. Uh, what do you want? Have you seen Sephiroth? Oh, the man in black cape? He went looking for the Temple of the Ancients. The Temple of the Ancients? It's way down south. It's on the other side of the town and the inland sea. It's a pyramid rising now of the forest. How do you get in? You need a keystone. What's a keystone? Just like it sounds. A what? That's a key. I've heard that some rich guy has it. Is that like... Did this come out of the fifth element? Because I always like, imagine the keystone is basically like one of the element stones. Uh, want to buy something? Yeah, yeah, let's see what we got. Diamond! Fuck, that's good. More slots. Everything goes double. And then, uh, nothing else. Diamond. Yeah, alright, fuck it. Spend all my money. I'll leave that one on for now. But at least these ones I can upgrade. That's barrier. Uh, I think cloud is barrier. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, but he's leveling up uh, double, so I'll leave that up there. Um, effect, seal. Elemental and fire. Alright, cool. I think we're good to go. Wanna buy something? Nope. So I can't go digging. Also, what's, what's the fire jet doing here? Shuma makes fire jets? Why do they need Tony Bunko when there's a fire jet? Uh, you can awaken the sleeping forest if you find the lunar harp. Once awake, they say the forest will open a road for you. We use new assistance to find buried treasure. We use bombs to make earthquakes and then check the sound waves given off by the tremors. Excavating is a slow process. The treasures we ex um, evacuate, uh, excavate sorry, are stored in the box next to the tent. Remember that. The forest just beyond there is called the sleeping forest. Right now the forest is asleep. Everyone who wanders in a while is asleep, gets confused. You can go in, but you may never come out. Yeah, I could come out. I, I can do this. Um, I remember there's a material. Kuja, uh, Kujata, I think it was. Like some material. Yeah, it's, I think it just bounces around. There, is right? Ah! Good! Ah! Right, now it's just an endless loop. Right, back out we go. It's a nice little forest, this day. It's quite peaceful. Cool. I this, I got what I came for. Wonder the fight one there gonna be interesting. Oh uh, god, that was scary. No, I think we faced one before. Stole bird wing. I wonder what that is. Is that a weapon for uh, Yuffie? Oh, we manipulated it. Cool. Big sound. Don't want to kill myself. Should be fine, right? Is that confusion? Alright, fuck it. He's going down. Two thousand. Fuck. Also, yeah, that limit break from Sid's also awesome, known. Right? The Dragoon Knight. Uh, I'd notice a spoiler, so I'm sorry, but I do believe the place is where you get the key to Midgar. You could go back and get someone's final weapon and someone's final limit. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah, it's not a spoiler. It's cool. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I know that, yeah. That was it, I spent so long trying to find out. Back in the day, we didn't know for sure about anything. 
Um, and we didn't have a guide, but we used to buy magazines uh, that gave you hints and tips. And it's, they said there you could get the, uh, the key back to Midgar. So uh, we'll be trying for hours. Like, oh, are you sure this works? Because like one of our friends also basically um, joked with us, took the piss. Because there's all these like wild rumours are going around what you can do, what you can't do. Um, and our friend Craig basically said like he found out a secret online, uh, not online, but like from a magazine, or like a friend told him um, that if you go back to Midgar later on in the game, and uh, you know where the, like little playground is like crushed. Um, by like boulders from the collapse of uh, the plate. Um, if you if you go up to the door and if you press the right part of the door uh, like a, a hundred times or something like that, then uh, you get to resurrect Briggs, uh, Reg, and Jesse, and they will come. Uh, there will be a summon. That they come riding on chocobos. We fucking believed it as well. We were like 13 or 14 or something like that, and we were there for hours trying to trying to make it work. Hey Ross, did you ever hear any crazy rumours? I think everyone always talks about like Pokemon, there was a, everyone thought there was a hidden thing under one of the trucks, or like how to get Mewtwo or something. What's that room over there? I'm going to check quickly this desert, see if there's anything of interest on me. You think you heard a rumour there was a way back to bring Ares from the dead? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think a lot of people heard that. I think you can hack the game to do that as well. Also, possibly want to be uh, avoiding too much spoilers, even though, like, I know the game. It sounds like everyone in the chat knows the game. Uh, but just in case for people who haven't, uh, we'll try and avoid major spoilers. Yeah, I think I heard it was like a, yeah, it's a hat. Like back in the day, you can do it. Oh. What's this bird item about? Bird wing. Use the word with normal opponents. Alright, check my phone. I think we've got 10 minutes left, guys. Um, the other stream is starting up very soon. I'm just checking messages, make sure. Cool. Uh, you're jumping off. You have oh, have a great day, everyone, and keep up the good vibes. Cool. Well, thanks for joining us, Game Poison. It's a pleasure to have you here as always. And uh, see you next session, hopefully. Oh man, I'm tired. <sighs> Got no sleep. The Indian game was on last night, so I went out drinking and didn't get much sleep. So I'm tired. But yeah, thanks, Poison. See you around. Uh, where am I going? Um, I'm going to go back to the first, uh, the left continent, the west continent. Um, try and get the buggy. After all the way around, do I?
I go to the Findel's town around here somewhere. Yeah, Findel said that. I can't go there. Yeah, let's hope I can't get to it just yet. This is the way back to the other continent. Alright, I'm gonna go pick my buggy back up. Can't go in that way. Go for the buggy. Uh, yeah, this is doing. that guy? Kill off the other two first. Uh, jump kick. Nothing still. Speed punch. Uh, yeah. The dive kick. So I'm taking the buggy back to Cold Prison, um, where I'm going to find that worm, hopefully, and um, kill him. And uh, oh, manipulate him, manipulate him, and then get his white wind, which is an easy skill. 
I think he has the ECU. Vincent hasn't had a limit break yet, I think of think about it. Cool, you can actually go on the desert. Should've done this earlier. How'd you get back out? It's down. I think you have to face cactus in this area as well. I suppose I'm going to any points yet. Ah, uh, here's the guy finally. Uh, that's not too bad. Earthquake, sandstorm. Yeah, it looks like you don't get E skill from this. You don't get white wind. If I go right, do I just go back out? Galleon Beast. Galleon. Right, I think it's automatic with this guy.
Berserk Dance. One more fight then, Dodger. Oh shit, what's this about? Wanna ride? Get on. Oh cool, just takes you right out. Also, that was, um, that guy's in Remake as well, ain't he? Chocobo Sam. I didn't realize they actually uh, took that from this game as well. That's cool. Uh, cool. Alright. I think we're done for the night. Oh. So, yeah, let me go to the other screen. So, uh, yeah, thank you for joining me again. Uh, what do we do this session? Didn't do much. Just did Rocket Town and explore a bit. Um, so uh, next session, I imagine we are going to go West Continent. Uh, yeah, West Continent uh, to Yuffie's hometown. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll start there next session. Uh, yeah, so um, right now I'm going to be moving on to another stream uh, on another channel um, called Denby Fight Nerds, where I'll be playing beam ups with uh, two of my mates uh, tonight it's uh, Street Fighter 6 it's mostly Street Fighter 6 so I'm going to basically uh, raid that now and then once you guys go over there um, then I'll basically quit here and jump over uh, so cool so yeah let's start raiding so uh, yeah uh, people who are going to raid thanks for joining and I'll see you over there um, Right, the raid should be happening. Cool. Alright, uh, we seem to have gone over to the other chat, uh, to the other uh, stream. All right, cool. Uh, anyone else still here? But well, it's been a pleasure. And uh, yeah, see you uh, Tuesday uh, from six to ten. All right, thank you and good night.